we are not leading the way. Our voice, our face is not going to make the changes for the women and the families in our community. So we can be sure that we are not living in poverty, that we are, and when I say us, when I, our whole community. And it's my passion to be able to work with women and to empower the other women and families in our community. For empowerment, empathy, and equity for every woman. I believe women need to take their place at the table. Thank you very much. We set the table, we populate the table, we feed everyone, and then we don't actually run the table. And I want us all to feel like not only are we allowed to, that we are encouraged to. But here's what voters say about women. I'm not voting for a woman because she's a woman. I'm only voting for her if she's qualified. See the difference? They assume a man is qualified, but they want a woman to prove that she's I grew up qualified. with a mom and three sisters on a barrier island, and I joke about it. It wasn't until I entered the work world that people told me women couldn't do, women couldn't do anything. But I did go to Wall Street in 1979, the uh, male bastion of chauvinism, and of Solomon Brothers, to be exact. Um, I was told I wasn't wanted. 52% of the population, however, we have no, uh, from New Jersey, there has never been a woman senator. This is an international problem, you know. It's, it's not just in the US, it's in the UK, it's, I, I was born in Kenya, it's in Africa, uh, my roots are from India, it's in India. And there was a pipe fitter that my size, and he got laid off, and this woman who was five foot three wasn't getting laid off. And he went into the general foreman's office, and he said to the general foreman, you're laying me off and you're keeping her, you're keeping her because she's a woman. And he said, no, I'm keeping her because she works harder than you do. He says, well, of course she works harder than me. She's a woman, she has something to prove. If there were more women in office, that might filter down to other workplaces and discrimination would then hopefully be gone. It's not just going to happen, we have to make it happen. The women are important to run. Women understand the middle class, they understand working families. The support of a woman in politics, is incredible. That network is unstoppable. By getting out there and changing that paradigm. It's one of the reasons why we are filming this documentary. The documentary is to change the paradigm, to start the conversation, and to get more women running that you don't have to come from money. I am a mom of three children. I drive a 10-year-old minivan. And I don't come from a political family. There's no political dynasty here, but I have a passion for what I do. And I know there, is a lot, there are a lot of others out there like me, like you guys here. And by taking that message and getting that movement going, we'll be able to see the change. I wasn't excited in 2012 when we hit 18% representation, a record number in Congress. I will be excited when we hit 40%, 45%. We're more than 50% of the population. We really should be more evenly represented. Each other are outrageous. Very beautifully put. Good luck, Mom.